Mahalo for tuning in to Island Focus and joining me in meeting Artist Eschenberg, who is the Chancellor of Windward Community College. Glad you could be with us. So nice to see you again. So, oh, Halila, I'm so happy to have you here today. Well, I'm excited because we're in Palikou Theatre. Yes. When you said you were coming, I was so excited to get to share our theatre with you, Palikou, standing at the foot of the heights of our Ko'olau Mountains, of Ke'ahiakahoi, and really a symbol of not just our educational experience, but our community focus as well, because Paliku combines both. We have community members who use this facility for their own productions and plays and halal performances. And we have a hugely growing theater program at Windward Community College. You know, sometimes when we, when we think of a theater on a school campus, whether it's high school or college, um, we look at it as an extra. But for you as an educator, the arts are an integral part of what happens here. We're so proud of our arts program and how it develops our students. It gives them a sense of who they are and allows them to explore issues and topics. We recently had Paliku Arts Fest where we brought the community in to do lots of different activities and just enjoy the arts for the day. But this year we added our science program also did activities mm -hmm. with those who came. And I think you have a, a cute acronym for that. It's not just the STEM program, you call it Yes, steam. it was a day of steam. We had an <laughs> art strut parade and we had all sorts of things that people made and just really got to enjoy how the arts, they're not a separate addition to our lives. They're a part of how we live and especially as we live well. You do so many things. The community is our mission. We're here to serve the communities that surround this college. And all of the decisions that we make, we really have to think with that in mind. How are we supporting and growing and nurturing our Windward communities? Within theater, something that we did recently that was really impactful is my theater instructors took Acting One to the Hawaii Youth Correctional Facility, mm -hmm. college credit coursework. They did it in a month of June with the students. And the end, which I got to see, resulted in a ho'ike, where the students performed works of Shakespeare. One recited lines from A Midsummer Night's Dream. But they also took and incorporated their own lives. So they were given scripts um, from Shakespeare with lines removed, where they inserted lines from their own lives. It was very impactful. And you so this is the youth correctional facility? The youth correctional facility. Where the boys are. All boys at that yeah. point. It's largely boys. And when we thought we would, when we were thinking, what should we offer for this summer course? And I said, theater. People were like, I don't know, theater. <laughs> but how powerful to use Super existing powerful. literature from theater and making it contemporary. Right. And relevant. We cried at some points. Everyone in the room was crying. And these students, got to really express what was going on in their lives in a way that allowed them safety and security, but also beauty within their own lives. And you know, and you have programs here, as I shared with you in the past, for the adults coming back, not necessarily wanting a degree. If you have a young adult with children, are there facilities that We're so can excited. Help? Oh. We just finished construction on our child care facility, which was developed as an action plan by students we received a small grant from AAUW. Of University Women. Is yes, that? American Association yeah. of University Women. The National Association gave us a small grant that our students used to survey resources and needs and opportunities on this side. And they created an action plan to build an infant toddler facility, which we just finished. We just finished staffing it and we're about to put out applications. And thanks to our Windward legislators, we now have a position for the director as well, which makes it financially feasible to open the facility. So and we're I, really blessed. And I, I know that in addition to um, offering childcare and senior programs, you also work with the high schools um, and offering opportunities for every age level to come here. It's really amazing. And we want to thank you for your leadership. Thank you. We have the second largest early college high school program in the state, having college coursework in the high schools. And we have a 94% success rate for those students. Making sure that we bring in 
a diversity of students, not just your AP kids, and ensuring success. Well, we'll look forward to hearing a little bit more about the college when we do our walkabout. Great, thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you for being with us. Thank, thank you. you. We've just had a wonderful conversation with Artis Eschenberg, who is the Chancellor of Windward Community College. Glad you could be with us.